Hi guys. So, <sighs> I hope you guys are doing all right. Um, it's been a long week. So, let me just turn this down a little bit. So, um, I just want to kind of sit down with you guys and chat. Let me close that door. Oh, you guys are. So, so, my hubby is coming home, um, and um, he's not like, I don't think he's too like sad about it, but um, he, um, so let me just give you the background. So, about a year ago, year and a half ago, we had gone to the shooting range and um, my husband took his ear protection off before he was supposed to and someone like fired around right next to him. So he had ringing in his left ear for quite a bit of, quite a bit of time. I, I believe it's his left ear. Maybe, it may be his right, but I'm pretty sure his left. I'm gonna let the dog in. He's scratching on my door. Come on, come on. Just a hi. You say hello. Okay, so um, about a year and a half ago, we had gone to the shooting range just to just for fun, and um, so he had ringing in his ear for quite some time after, like maybe a few months to a year, to be honest, um, and then. Uh, the ring kind of went away, but the loss of hearing is still there. Like, he's not able to hear completely out of his left ear. And I think I'm right when it comes to that. Um, but he, um, when he went to MEPS, uh, which is like the pre-screening before you go to basic training um, they said it was gonna be all right but now since he's been in basic training he was there for two weeks um, they did their own audiologist uh, audiology test um, with the audiologist and they have decided um, to disqualify him so he's been a med hold for about a week um, and he's been gone 21 days and, um, he just really, I mean, I think he's okay with it because he's kind of like a go with the flow type of man, but, um, he, uh, I think he's having a hard time with missing us and knowing he's coming home and it's just that waiting time between like discharging him and the time he gets to come home I think that's what's tough on him uh, and it's tough on me too like to be honest um, we were kind of going with the flow things were getting into motion and um, it was starting to get easier um, but out of all honesty since I found out that he's coming home I'm like excited and anxious and now uh, I just want my man home like if you're not gonna keep him just send him home like to be honest but I know like anything with the military is a process and that um, that it's not gonna be overnight and now at this point it's been nine days um, and I don't know, I haven't really gotten to talk to him much, like, and that that topic hasn't come up, like, the full background story and how long he's actually been there, like, I think he went to Medhold Sunday night, not this Sunday, but last Sunday, so it may be 10 days now, um, and I look for him because we live in the same city as where the Air Force Base is. 
I look for him to come home soon because they don't have to like fly him out anywhere or anything. Let me fix this camera. So they don't have to fly him out or anything. Like he can just come home, you know, like I can go pick him up at the drop of a hat and um, that'll be the end of it. But, um, you know, he has to wait on paperwork to be filed and all that fun stuff. And um, that's the tough part. So uh, we're just waiting on that and then he'll be home. Um, I haven't told the kids yet and I don't want them to know. So I don't know when I'll post this video. <laughs> I don't want like I know a couple other friends have subscribed and I don't want them to be like Evie your daddy's coming home or you know Ace your daddy's coming home and uh, I think I'll just make it 18 and older 